Simona, what the heck happened, <laughs> Simona? I fell off my road bike. Hey guys, Dr. Matt here from Life Spring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas. We're here with someone special today. This is one of our employees, the face of the practice. If you come Hello. into Life Spring, you recognize her. This is Simona. What the heck happened, <laughs> Simona? I fell off my road bike, guys. So careful with the clips, right? You as the clip falling yes. down. Yes. And you got an x ray, and it looks like there might be a hairline fracture on the right elbow. That's but let's have you take off the yeah, of course. sling and let's see a couple things. It was really ballooned up and swollen, right, when it first happened? Oh, yeah. How many Very days fun. ago was this? It's It was on Thursday. So, Thursday. so four days ago. Four days yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. So let's see the good arm first. We see how much motion is there. And then mm -hmm. let's try the other arm. And we can see side by side. So we'll get the camera over here so we can really see the difference. And is there pain still in the arm oh, or the elbow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel pain. most of the uh, pain? Mainly right here. Okay. And we see area. a little bit of road rash on the elbow also. So this was four days ago. This is still what we call an acute injury, but we can absolutely, absolutely still adjust it or around the areas and improve the motion and the function. Any pain anywhere else? Or? Yes, actually right here, my rib. So on the ribs, yeah. how about back in the shoulder? Yes, elbow as well, in the back of the okay. shoulder, right there. So when you fell, did it hit, it looks like it hit direct on yeah, the elbow. Yeah, directly, and it kind of fell on the side, yeah. So when we do that, the force is absorbed through our body and really into our spine. So we're gonna look at what this has done to see it also. I do wanna see shoulder motion up overhead. So go ahead and lift yeah. both so hard. Yeah, it is. Hard. And then let's see the other arm, same thing a lot better. So let's get the camera at the side view so we can see the difference. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah a hard. big difference, okay. Yeah, and then you can relax that. And with that too, the shoulder's coming up to try to help it. Mm -hmm. So telling me rib cage here. So you're not a liar is what we're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Simone and I get a joke around like this because yeah. we know each other very well. We do. <laughs> so let's have you lie face down for me, please. Okay. We're gonna check the spine, rib cage, shoulder, and elbow today. And you haven't been adjusted since the no, accident. No, right? I haven't. And I ask because oh. there's a couple other doctors in the office. Shout out to Dr. Nick, he's filming this, and shout <laughs> out to Dr. <laughs> Bailey. And let's actually introduce Dr. Bailey. Hey, Dr. Bailey, come here really quick. Where are you? We're gonna introduce Dr. Bailey to the world right now. <laughs> this is Dr. <laughs> Bailey. So she just started with us a couple weeks ago. If you're here in Austin, you'll be seeing her. If you're yet to come in, you're in amazing hands if you get adjusted by her. Mm -hmm. So, and you'll be seen in the future on some YouTube videos. Woo! So that's what's up. And if you've watched any videos over the last couple months, I stay behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Not for long. So we're gonna be on that right hip here yeah any sensitivity there yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so and i'm going to be light after any trauma or accident you know we can be super aggressive but it's just easier on the body many times if, if we are light there we go There's that right hip bone now mm -hmm. right here yeah that's where very painful actually right through here so when we think about as we fall, most of that impact is actually gonna be absorbed through the rib cage and the spine right mm -hmm. through here. Breath in for me, please, and let it all go. Good, let the arms relax. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh Shelly. my goodness, it was so good. <laughs> that is what is needed. Oh, yes. and now I'm going to be on the ribs here. <laughs> sorry. I felt really good. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, that's okay. That's good. It's funny. Everyone's got a different reaction. Simona's the best. So here through her rib cage where it meets the shoulder blade, I'm adjusting the tension on the table. I'm going to be really light. And that's just my body weight plus a little bit. And some of these areas might be a little sensitive, but when we make the adjustment, it should not be painful. Good. 
and this is the rib head, and it's right where it meets, we call the transverse process of the vertebra. So if you can picture this connection, it's just a little bit off center rotated. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing them directly together and we get that alignment right, that motion of the shoulder is gonna be better and you're gonna feel better too. Now let's check the neck. Let's have you turn onto your back, please. Take your time. <laughs> and then with the neck, she got a different spot than where we usually are on there. Oh. But there's something new that happened. So I'm gonna move your hair. There we go. Try to relax that. Oh, there we go. Yes. Good. So now let's have you seated one more time, please. And just with that, let's try to lift the arms up over. <gasps> Both arms? Yeah. Woohoo! Wow. It's good. Wow. <laughs> and now what oh I my see goodness. through That's here. That's crazy. Her body's not doing this. What do you feel? Oh my gosh, such a relief and just more motion. Yeah, it's easier. Oh, wow. And look at that. So we didn't even touch the elbow, but I want to see this again. Look at that. That's amazing. So we see now the neurologic connection. Inner dance moves too far. Away. <laughs> the nerves in the spine wow. go out to the arms. My gosh, it's connected. <sighs> it so the motion of her elbow changed and we didn't even touch her elbow. But now I'm going to touch her elbow because she'll yell at me later if we don't. Uh -oh. So I'm going to be really light and this area is still swollen and it's guarded. So I'm using an instrument and I just want to feel, I'm going to be really light. And the potential hairline fracture would be right here on the ulna itself. I am not going to be directly on that part, but I'm just off of it and I'm really careful even with palpating it that I don't agitate it right there. So this is called the radial head that I'm feeling and it should rotate over and it's not. It's getting stuck. So right here on the radial head, I'm going to move it, we call from lateral to medial, meaning I'm going to push it that away. You get that? We're going to push it that away. <laughs> Put a light on there. Good. Now, more time for me here. Okay. And then, so the radio has more motion here. Okay. Good. It should feel like it's a little freer. And then yeah. let's check the ulna also. And on these also, we can muscle test, but we don't have to. Yeah. And this is the sensitive one right yeah, there so good. even with that i'm going to adjust that over my hand okay so this is going to be like my hand on that spot with a tap right over it okay. so it's so light okay so right here middle finger the ulna has moved medially and i'm going to be directly on that is that okay mm -hmm. yeah. it's super light Good. So now, same thing, straighten that arm out for us. Good. And then open and close them a few times. And as you do, that motion should feel less resistive. Yeah, for sure. And easier to move. I can and extend it more, for sure. You can a lot more. Yeah. And then I do want to check the rib cage also. So here's a cool test to show this. We're going to look at how far you can rotate your head to each side. So go ahead and look left for me as far as you can. Good. Now look right for me as far as you can. Okay, so you move better right than you do left. And okay. now I'm going to hold the ribs here. Now do the same thing. Look all the way. Yeah, look at that. Tell, tell the people what the difference when I oh, squeeze wow. your ribs. <laughs> I can reach further can and a little left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. So we have two solutions for this. One is I can adjust your ribs lightly. Or two yes. is I can follow you around for the rest of the day. Please adjust me. On the ribs. Okay. <laughs> so this 
Some of these are probably gonna be sensitive, so when I feel here, I'm feeling for muscle tone between mm -hmm. the ribs. If they're too sensitive, I'll adjust it through my hand like okay. I did on that one. Sounds good. And we can change the force on this tool, so so that one feels to me like it's really agitated. Is that okay, that pressure? Yeah, that's fine. No, okay. that's fine. Yeah, and same with that one. So I can feel the difference in muscle tone between the ribs, and she's wearing the perfect shirt. You can see the stripes that's like following yeah, oh there we go. God. The line. And then switch sides for me, please. So when the ribs are in, when the rib angle specifically, this side angle, is in an ideal alignment, the neck rotation will improve. So now without my hands there, let's see you turn your head again to the side and look at wow, that. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. Good. And tell the people, how does it feel for you? Oh, it different? feels great. I, f mm. I have a lot more motion in my hand. feels like it. And to be honest, I was a little scared to get adjusted yeah. since it just happened, but it didn't hurt at all. And this is even, I mean, you've been working here for three years. Yeah. So imagine how someone watching this, maybe if you've never been to a chiropractor, yeah. I'd say err on the light side. It's easier just to be gentle with something right after a trauma because yeah. we still get the same results. That's right? great. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.